Let's talk about the extent of international business. The objective of this section is to outline the extent of international business and the economic outlook for trade. Restrictions or not, international business is growing. Although the worldwide recessions of 1991 and 2001 to 2002 slowed the rate of growth, the global economic crisis of Restrictions or not, international business is growing. Although the worldwide recessions of 1991 and 2001 and 2002 slowed the rate of growth, and the global economic crisis of 2008 and 2009 caused a sharp decline, globalization is a reality of our time. As trade barriers decrease, new competitors enter the global market, creating more choices for consumers and new opportunities for job seekers. Use of the internet will result in additional growth in international business. While the global economy continued to grow in 2007, the growth in advanced economies slowed and then stopped in 2009, while emerging and developing economies continued to grow. More than 96,000 American companies currently export to Canada, and 70% of Canada's exports come to the U.S. U.S. trade with the EU is one of the largest and most complex in the world, generating an estimated goods and trade flow of over $687 billion in 2016 and representing 30% of global trade that year. In most other advanced economies, including Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, and the UK, growth is expected to continue. Latin American exports are growing annually. The region is home to 11 free trade area countries. Japan is the world's third largest economy and the U.S.'s fourth largest trading partner. After nearly two decades of deflation and low growth, Japan's economy is showing signs of recovery. The economic growth in Asia remained strong in 2016 and 2017, despite the global recession. China's emergence as a global economic power has been among the most dramatic economic developments of recent decades. It has grown to be the world's second largest economy. India is the world's largest democracy, with per capita incomes expected to grow in the future. This will lead to strong demand for goods and services. Sub-Saharan Africa is home to seven of the top 10 fastest growing economies in the world. U.S. trade with Africa has tripled over the past decade, and U.S. exports to the region exceed $22.3 billion. In 2016, U.S. exports supported more than 11.8 million full and part-time jobs during a historic time when exports as a percentage of GDP reached the highest level since 1916. Table 3.3 shows U.S. exports and imports for selected world areas in 2016. Table 3.4 shows the value of U.S. merchandise exports to and imports from each of the nation's 10 major trading partners. It should be noted that your textbook was published in 2019, so some information is outdated and estimations of future growth are likely no longer accurate. It will be interesting to see and study the long-term effects that the COVID-19 pandemic has on international trade.